Good morning and congratulations to the class of 2021. I would like to welcome all of you to the virtual University of California, Irvine, Paul Murad School of Business commencement ceremony and to thank all the families and friends that have gathered this morning to celebrate the wonderful accomplishments of the 2021 graduates. Though we were not able to be in person this year, it is still right and fitting that we celebrate this tremendous accomplishment that makes this day special. To the class of 21, well done. You've officially completed your journey with the Mirage School and can now join our alumni community of over 12,000 individuals spread across the United States and in over 36 countries. You have excelled and thrived under what can only be described as extraordinary circumstances and earned a degree that truly speaks to your work ethic your dedication and your commitment to excellence. I have only had the great privilege of serving as a Dean of the Marad School for six months. Yet, I certainly understand the challenges you've overcome and more importantly, the heights that you have achieved. Many of you have earned your degree while working multiple jobs, raising a family, quarantining under less than ideal circumstances. You've overcome glitchy Wi-Fi connections and collectively, we've all become Zoom experts. As the very world before us has changed, despite all the chaos that was created, you made the decision to continue your education and to strive towards excellence. Class of 2021, you are the epitome of perseverance. Your education and newfound knowledge is something that no one will ever be able to take away from you. And certainly today is the commencement. It is the starting point for you to move on to even bigger and better things. Certainly I remember with great fondness when I graduated with my undergraduate degree, nothing on that day would have ever told me that I would be addressing you today as the Dean of a business school. But certainly I know that path was started and formed through my educational experience. I know what my education has done for me and my family, and I can't wait to see what your education will do for you and yours. Now, no matter where you go, remember the lessons that this year has taught us. Yes, it has been very traumatic, but as we have coped and as we have dealt with this major health crisis of COVID, certainly all of us have learned the value of empathy, flexibility, patience, and compassion. I am confident it is those attributes that will enable all of us to be successful as we lead organizations, communities, and our families going forward. Congratulations on this fantastic accomplishment. We wish you all the best going forward, and please do make sure you stay in touch with your Mirage community. Dear class of 2021, it is my honor as the Associate Dean of Master's Programs at Mirage to join you today to celebrate your graduation. Even though this year's event has to take place virtually without the usual hugs and handshakes, and even though circumstances in the past year may have made your journey here tougher than you had expected to be, the challenges you have overcome to get here today also make what you have accomplished all the more remarkable. Congratulations, FEMBA Class of 2021. Your class has experienced immense amount of growth and advancement, and we congratulate you on all of your successes. More than half of you reported that you received a promotion or level of advancement, and more than 40% of you changed companies. A few of you decided to hire your classmates into your organizations. Several very entrepreneurial FEMBA teams won the new venture competition last year with innovative concepts. We're all excited to see where you take them in the future. You accomplished all of this while juggling your demanding coursework and professional lives during a pandemic. Your ability to make it through this rigorous program during a time of massive disruption in your lives is a true tribute to your resilience and perseverance. Every red light eventually turns green. As you start your next chapter, I hope that with the resilience and perseverance that mark the class of 2021, you will envision ways to become the green light that will carry your businesses and communities to new heights. Congratulations, members of the class of 2021, and good luck to each and every one of you.
Congratulations, class of 2021. You are all truly models of resiliency and innovation. It is an honor to be here with you and share what I hope you feel are a few words of wisdom from my personal experience. You may be asking yourself, who is she and why is she our keynote speaker? To be honest, I ask myself very similar questions when I was invited to speak to you. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized I am a microcosm of all of you. I graduated from the Executive MBA program here at the Paul Mirage School of Business in 2020. Our last quarter was entirely virtual as a result of COVID. I know we have a mix of undergraduate and graduate students here today. You have done an amazing job completing your degree during this unprecedented time, a year that has thrown our lives into a whirlwind. But your education, as many of you have already experienced, is a significant bridge to new opportunities. Before I go on, I'm going to do for you what I do with my medical students. Tell you up front the big takeaways. These are the things that you need to remember and walk away with. Remember, opportunity, innovation, and resiliency. Let's get started. I'd like you to consider how a bridge can be a metaphor for the limitless opportunities that your Mirage degree offers you. I've learned that there are many bridges in life. Bridges that you find, bridges that you build, bridges that you cross, and bridges that you become. I grew up in South Central Los Angeles, raised by a single mom who immigrated from Mexico at the age of 16. She worked two, three jobs at a time to send me to a better school so I could go to college. My mom would always tell me, when I'm gone, I won't leave you money, but I will leave you something worth a lot more, something that no one can ever take away from you, an education. For me, education has been the bridge to opportunities that my mother dreamed for me to have. Now, why a bridge? A bridge does many things. And if you think about the Golden Gate Bridge, it goes over water, it sways with the wind, but it's sturdy and resilient. My initial bridge took me out of South Central Los Angeles and into a whole new world, college. For some of the undergrads who also came from challenging backgrounds, and are the first ones in your family to graduate from college, UCI may be your first bridge. Congratulations on taking that first step and making it across. I would ask all of you to remember to look back and extend a hand to those trying to get across that first bridge. I continued finding, building, and crossing bridges after finishing my medical degree, public health degree, and most recently my MBA. I'm privileged that I can look back and see how I, as one person, can make a difference in bridging the practice of medicine and public health. My bridge brings the voice of a Latina woman who has personal experience in addressing the many of the challenges that we as a society are striving to address. As a public health professional, I've developed and promoted statewide and national programs designed to keep moms and babies healthy. So when I deliver a baby and hand them off to the new parents, those programs that I help develop can continue touching the lives of my patients. If you're wondering, why I pursued an MBA after already earning an MD and an MPH, the answer is simple. I have realized that my purpose in life is to connect people to their health. I had one more bridge to build. That is to bridge health with business and technology. This became clear to me 
when I saw my teenage son playing online games and much to my chagrin, sometimes up to several hours at a time. But he wasn't the only one enjoying online games in my family. So was my 78 year old mother. She loves Candy Crush. And that's when it hit me, bringing together my education, training and experience. I connected the dots and it occurred to me that the time spent playing a game can be combined with learning about your health. My mom has high blood pressure, but to this day, she's not too sure what the numbers mean. The solution? To gamify health. And that's exactly what I did. And now I'm the CEO and founder of a company I named Gamify Health. I completed my MBA with an emphasis in entrepreneur and innovation and used my MBA as the incubator for my startup. I could not have asked for a more supportive and inspiring environment. The first game we developed was covidblast.com. The timing was perfect to launch a game that could reinforce behaviors to avoid getting COVID. The current game we're developing and finalizing is Teen Mind Games. This game screens teenagers for depression and gets them the help they need. There is so much stigma and shame associated with depression and getting help is not always easy. Little did I know when we first started developing Teen Mind Games that depression would more than double during the pandemic. I'm still crossing that entrepreneur bridge, the bridge that joins personal health and universal gaming. At times, it feels like this bridge is made of rope. It's wobbly and standing upright is difficult. There have been times that I've almost fallen but the networks and the support that the Mirai School provides me is pulling me across. I know some of you have completed your degree without having ever been on campus. I encourage you to continue building your Mirage Alumni Bridge, whether in person or virtually, and reach for the hand and encouragement that will help you cross your bridge. I know you can do it. Each one of you is a model of innovation. You have found ways to adapt. If someone would have told you a year ago, the entire world would be confined to their homes and you would be learning virtually, working remotely in study groups, working from home, and your kids would be homeschooling 100% virtually, you would not have believed it. Nobody would have but that's exactly what you did. Many schools struggled to go virtual. You benefited from the Mirage School's promise of leadership in a digitally driven world and their early adoption of remote learning made it happen. When I was a student here, I was traveling a lot for work and going to professional meetings. I love the convenience of attending classes online. Many of us also benefited from virtual workouts. Peloton became a household name, not just a business case study where we were reviewing to see if they were a high-tech company or an exercise machine. And all of you develop creative ways to network and support each other. One of my personal favorite virtual networks is the Mirage Dean's Leadership Circle, the Mirage Alumni Group that I encourage all of you to join. I participated on a couple of Zoom gatherings during the heart of the sheltering in place. We had people from all over the United States and the world. We were sharing stories and experiences and it was, it was great. And for a short while, I forgot we were in a pandemic and under quarantine. Each of you has stories 
of how you endured the pandemic, how you found ways to continue your lives, and how you coped with the loss of friends, acquaintances, and loved ones. And we will all laugh at the continuous, you are muted, we can't hear you. Each of you will have stories to share with the generations that follow. And now, as we see the light at the end of the tunnel, each of you can say that you survived and you showed just how resilient you are. The third and final takeaway that has been a huge source of my success is resiliency. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, resiliency is the ability of something to return to its original size and shape after being compressed or deformed. Resiliency is needed to withstand challenges, and in our case, the challenge was COVID. Based on our home, health, and personal experience, the amount of compression and deformation varied from person to person. Many of us lost family members, friends, acquaintances, or a job. And some of us have been sick ourselves. For me, in the early days of the pandemic, it was the uncertainty of whether or not I would get COVID while working in the hospital and caring for patients. I was afraid for my family, not for me. I didn't want to bring the infection home to them. In the beginning, there was so much we didn't know. Keeping my family safe was my biggest priority. It was not always easy though, when we had a shortage of personal protective equipment. But we all rose above our personal pandemic challenges and you did it in addition to getting your degree. If you can get through this, which you did, you can get through anything. You have been stretched and as a result, you are stronger. Your innovation and resiliency have gotten you to this point. But now, where does that lead you? Remember, innovation, resiliency, and opportunities that leverage your ability to bridge worlds are unexpected and priceless lessons you have earned along with your degree. You've heard my story. What will your story be? What bridges will you discover or create? There will continue to be times when you will sway, you will feel like you're gonna be blown off that bridge. But remember, you are resilient and innovative, and more importantly, not alone. You are a member of the Mirage family. Zot, zot, zot. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hi there. First of all, congratulations on graduating from the Mara School of Business, uh, which is quite an accomplishment. And especially under the difficult circumstances under which you had to finish your degree. I have nothing but the utmost respect for all of you, given the fact that you had to juggle work, private life, and you know the rigorous demands of getting an MBA uh, from us here at Mirage. Now, teaching business analytics is probably not the most exciting field, but I do hope that you learned a lot of useful skills and uh, information from taking this course. At the very minimum, you have become masters of Microsoft Excel. More importantly, I hope that my excitement and passion for education spilled over and created a sense of excitement in you to learn even more and continue to develop your skills. So once again, congratulations. I wish you a bright and happy future, and please contribute to making this world an even better place and stay in touch. Good luck. Hello, MBA students. This is Professor Leonard Lane, and I would like to congratulate you on your graduation, on your accomplishments throughout the program, and wish you the best of luck into the future. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. You showed how hard work, determination, 
and a positive attitude helped you along the way and your star shines brightly despite the craziness of this year. Best of luck to you. I am so happy for you and I'm so proud of you. Take care. Class of 21, congratulations, you've made it. It's been a crazy year to say the least, but we've all made it to the, to the finish line. You are now graduates of the Mirage School of Business. Best of luck to you moving forward. We look forward to seeing you back on campus soon as alumni and good luck with everything as you move into your future endeavors and rip a meters. Hi, graduating class of 2021. Um, I wanted to pause and just say uh, most certainly my most heartfelt congratulations. And for those of you that I had the distinct honor of having as uh, your professor, um, it's been an amazingly wonderful experience. I look forward to perhaps having you maintain contact. Uh, as you may remember, uh, any type of international work is really one based on relationships and you, you know that, but uh, congratulations once again, stay in touch and I hope that uh, we'll get a chance to see each other, hopefully in a foreign country very, very soon. Be well, thanks. Congratulations, 2021 MBA graduates. I hope you'll find your North Star and your past will be revealed. Ah, I forgot to hit the unmute button. Hey, graduates. Ah, sorry about that interruption. Well, I had originally intended for my video to help remind you of what an unusual school year this has been. And it seems like that's exactly what my video has done. It's been a long an objective of the Mirage School to help our students not only to learn the materials we teach you in class, but also to understand how to be flexible and adaptable and to deal with challenges, expected and unexpected, that you will encounter in your careers and in your lives. And you sitting here today as graduates and now alumni is a testament to you mastering all of these things. With what you have accomplished over these years, I have great confidence you're gonna make it through anything else life throws at you. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. You made it, you finished with your MBA program. I wish you guys the best of luck after graduation. Please take care and don't forget to keep in touch. Hi class of 2021, congratulations. Chris Bauman here, interrupting a string of rather sterile formal congratulations for something real. Also interrupting my mountain bike ride, but congratulations. Um, as Ferris Bueller once said, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look right around every once in a while, you might miss it. I hope you stop to look around during your MBA uh, with COVID and everything, sure made it difficult, but now you've made it through. It's a great accomplishment. Congratulations, and I'm glad to have been a part of it. Best of luck as you move forward. Hello, MBA class of 2021. Congratulations on completing your study despite all the unusual circumstances of last year. You're stepping into a world that more than ever before rely on digital technologies for growth and innovation. Hope what you've learned here at the Mirage School will help you tackle the challenges and take advantage of the immense opportunities of digital transformation. Congratulations again and wish you all the best. Hey, family class of 2021, I just wanted to send a shout out to you to congratulate you on all of your accomplishments. You are done with your MBA. That is reason to celebrate. Um, I do wish we could celebrate with you in person, but hopefully we'll get a chance to over the summer here. But congratulations. I've really enjoyed working with you. You've been a very diverse class, very accomplished, excellent to work with. We've gotten to know many of you. And you're all excellent individuals, excellent professionals. And we wish you the very best as you move forward with your post MBA lives. I just wanna share a few bits of advice with you. I, I do hope you've made some amazing connections here. I remember seeing a lot of you get together when we were getting together on campus. I could see those relationships form, uh, forming, uh, but keep up with each other. 
I graduated 15 years ago. It's hard to believe it's been 15 years, but I still get together with my classmates. The, the, the colleagues and peers that you've made here at the Mirage School should last a lifetime. Definitely keep up with each other. Everybody's gonna get busier. You're gonna have kids or more kids. We know several children have been born here during the program, uh, but things get busy, but do keep up with each other. You never know when you might need somebody or somebody might need you, but keep up with each other. And, and we promise the value of the Mirage Network will just increase as you move forward in your careers. Um, and I also want to mention confidence. You should feel very confident right now. You're graduating with your MBA and you should feel like you could, uh, you could tackle any challenge that comes your way. And absolutely you can and you will. But remember the, the very first start of the program with the opening residential, where you're working late at night uh, in the hotel, um, and it was sort of a shock and awe. What did I get myself signed up for? What, what am I doing here in this program? Uh, and then you're going through the core classes and you're getting into the rhythm of it, and you've, you've gained a lot of confidence. Um, it is a challenging MBA program. You should feel very proud of yourself for getting through it. We intentionally threw some curveballs your way, um, and hopefully you're, you're coming on the other end of it with immense confidence. Um, you're going to negotiate for salary and for positions in the future. Remember what you've learned. Remember your classmates um, and keep that confidence and your coursework close by uh, whenever you need it. And keep learning. Keep taking classes. Uh, keep updating your MBA and absolutely stay in touch with us. Stay in touch with each other. And we wish you the very best as you move forward with your career. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Hi, everyone. My name is Tiam Shatayashi. I'm in the full-time MBA graduating class of 2021 as well as the last year's MSA president. Now on behalf of MSA, I had one last parting gift for all of us. I've asked two people to kind of give some parting words and encouragement on our special day. You might recognize one of them or both of these familiar faces, but I'll let them take it from here. Guys? Hello to the Mirage graduate class of 2021. Congratulations to all of you I hear you have graduated from UC Irvine with your master's degrees. You know what that means to me. You're smarty pants. That's right. Uh, congratulations. This is huge. <clears throat> That's what she said. Um, you, 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 you've done it. And so now I wish you a lifetime, a future ahead, filled with continued academic rigor, filled with love, filled with success, filled with laughter, but most importantly, filled with chili. Nice. Pau Gasol here wishing you congratulations, all the class uh, of the Mirage, graduate class of 2021. Congrats on graduating. Congrats on a great accomplishment. Uh, wishing you the best on the next chapter of your lives, of your professional careers. Uh, hope uh, you uh, love what you decide to do which will make you put in the work, uh, pursue it and, and accomplish great things and enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy that ride. Uh, so all the best to you guys. Congrats again. Uh, wishing you the best, like I said, and, um, and just, just try to be the best that you can be at whatever you choose to do. Uh, and enjoy, like I said, enjoy the journey. Enjoy every step. Uh, don't take the easy way. Um, usually all things in life that are worth and are valuable. Um, they, they require hard work, they require sacrifice and discipline. So all the best to you guys again and congrats. Enjoy, enjoy today. Thomas Abraham. Noella Lacoff. Rachel Anktel. Brian Ariano Dante Armstrong Curran Aurora Janina Avramova Jenabu Bangura Ray Beck Brandon Boland
Corey Bowman. Kim on Bui. On to Cow. Even though this video bring back fond memories, I'm so glad we don't have to do this anymore. Congratulations everyone, we're done! Connie Chow. Bidhi Chandra. Vicky Cheng. Grace Chin. Catherine Cocheter. Samantha Condi. Tyler Cook. Paulina Costantini. Aaron Dembla. V. Din. Congratulations, class of 21. Alicia Dominguez. Alan Du. Alyssa Dunford. Michael Dunnigan. Denise Ergine. Wagung Andrew Fan. Debbie Stephanie Fernandez. Richard Firth. Crystal Brooke Fisher. To my family, friends, mentors, and classmates, thank you so much for supporting me through my MBA experience. I couldn't have done it without you. Zot Zot. Arash Gazvini. Hannah Gibson. Preeti Goel. Alex Grant. Taylor Griffin. Ryan Gutierrez. Jake Hall Brian Hammer Ray Han Hey Dad, I know you couldn't be here today, but I wanted to tell you that this degree here is for you. Christian Hayes Dina Helmy Carissa Hernandez Amanda Higginson Chris Inojosa David Ho Danny Ho Jesse Holland Ryan Homoki I want to thank you 
family, my friends for their support, the faculty and everyone I met at UCI, and my group members that had to put up with me for the last two years. I appreciate it. Thank you. Charlie Jackson. Sunila Jadjurla. Devika Jane. Justin James. Blake Kardashian. Gabriel Cassasia. Joshua Kim. Daniel Kim. Justin Lamb. Kevin Lau. Kyle Lewis. Yua Lee. Chien Shan Lee. Tiffany Liao. Sarah Link. Zania Lobo. Lori Lamasio Park. AJ Magania. Jamila Magno. Jit Malay. Dylan Mallory. Sumon Mana. Gabriel Mantering. Special thanks to everyone who supported me, especially my mom who always asked about my grades and to my wife Cassie who supported me through everything. Anna Martinez. Gabriela Martinez Stuckey. Gideon Massey. Teresa Mellon. Alex Moan. Chloe Moreno. Onur Mudanyali. Tony Mueller. Prem Muni. Kim Murray. Jocelyn Neri. Chris Newman. Andrew Ng. Demi Gwen. Michelle Wynn. Just wanted to give a special shout out to my support system. I couldn't have done it without you all, and you guys know who you are. Jenny New Wynn. Jonathan NIH.
Anish Niran. Nick Norris. Daniel Nystrom. Margarita Olentseva. Jose Orozco. CJ Ovesai. Naveen Pachinuri. Denise Pang. Matthew Parker. Anisha Patel. Krish Patel. D. Patel. Taylor Paluzzi. Jian Peng. Corey Perez. My fam. Philip Fam. Koi Fam. Joseph Fam. Brian Pitt. Sohina Podar. Big shout out to my husband Gaurav and my kids for supporting me throughout this journey. Couldn't have done without you guys. Love you. Sarah Pontius. Marco Price. Anna Quach. Shravan Raghunathan Jim Robertson Michael Romano Matthew Rose David Rosenfield William F. Ryan III Abbas Saqib Matt Chenoer Massimo Salim Francisca Shayo Wei Shen Stefan Shai Jean Olivia Ma Short Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. Zot, zot. Kelsey Smith. Ellen Spolino. Lindsay Spiegelman. Stu Stivers. Rome, Angela, son.
Nicole Souther. Hidi Tahirabadi. Jag Raj Takar. Lina Taylor. Jared Taylor. Marielle Teng. Sharon Tong. Alex Torres. Anthony Tran. Nina Tran. On Tran. Yvonne Truong. Chris Villarreal. James Weinstock. Jean Sia. Andy Yao. Wendy Yi. Yu Jia Zhang. Hello, graduating class of 2021, and congratulations. You've toughed out a really difficult COVID year, and I'm sure you're ready to move on. You have worked very hard, and you've done it to prepare yourself to become a future leader for our, in our new economy. And I think the next 10 years is going to be a very crucial period of time for you because that will determine where you're going to land, who you're going to be, and what is your path to the future. So it seems to me like it's very important to ask a question, which is, what will the next 10 years be like? Well, let me share my prediction with you. I think it's going to be stormy, fast changing, and very unpredictable. Let me try to explain. Um, by way of background, I should say that I chair three companies <clears throat> within the Mirage Investment Group, which we call MIG for short. There's a hedge fund group, uh, there is a private equity group, and a real estate investment group. So my number one job in this multi-billion dollar enterprise is to figure out what's coming around the corner. And, and why? Why is that so important? It's because in a very fast changing environment, it is so important for us to stay competitive by being at the very front edge of what is happening out there. And, and at the very front edge of any changes in technology that is happening. So we all know that our economy is going through a major change. It's going from the old industrial economy to a new knowledge economy. And during that past, 10, 12 years, we know that some huge monster companies have been created um, from this new knowledge economy. And some segments in our economy have been almost devastated, such as retail. What a lot of people are not really focused on now, though, is what the next 10 years is about to bring. And I think the next 10 years is going to be a period of change and super steroids. Why is that? I think it's because two really major 
technological developments, uh, which is artificial intelligence and quantum uh, computing are going to come together and then and join the foundation, the base that is there and make a huge difference in, a, in everything, every aspect of our economy. So I think by some estimates, uh, about a third of the S&P uh, companies uh, today are not going to exist in 10 years. Think about that, that's huge. Millions of jobs are going to be altered in a significant way or eliminated altogether. Some of them may be yours. So <laughs> I have to stop and say, I'm, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, well, is this, a, Paul, is this a message of uh, congratulations? Or are you just trying to scare the hell out of us? Uh, so what I'm saying is that essentially, yes, it is a warning, but I would like for us to concentrate on the opportunities this will present. Please don't forget that every time change destroys the old, provide, it provides opportunities for new and for opportunities for new businesses. It could be not new opportunities for new enterprises from small to very large. And this is the thing to focus on, but you do need to know where to look. So, and I know right now you're probably ready to chuck all the books, all the assignments and say to hell with all of this, I'm done. Uh, and take a breather, and, and it's quite understandable. But after you get a rest, please do this. Roll up your sleeves and start becoming very familiar with every new technology that is coming along. Um, keep tabs on all of these developments. Ask yourself, what will that mean for my organization, for my company? What will it mean for me? And most importantly, what opportunities will it represent? This is how you will be a leader in tomorrow's future. And the winners and the losers are going to be the ones who are proactive versus reactive. It's as simple as that. So, also watch for convergences happening. The one thing that is for sure is that most of the time what will impact you is not coming at you in a straight line. It is through a zigzag of two or three different technologies converging and making possible things that none of them individually could have made possible. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind. But allow me to suggest an excellent book, uh, which is which I've read and enjoy, and I think could be a starting point for you to dig into. It's called The Future is Faster Than You Think. And it's by, the author is Peter Diamandis, and, or Diamandis, and um, Peter is a serial entrepreneur, which is very closely tied to the various uh, movers and shakers in uh, Silicon Valley. And I think you'll find the book to be quite interesting. So I'm going to close with an old Chinese proverb, which I found in the fortune cookie. It says, luck is when opportunity meets preparation. So I wish you a great deal of luck. Thank you for listening. And this brings us to a conclusion of our virtual commencement ceremony this morning. I hope that everyone has enjoyed the ceremony and that you all have fun activities planned for the rest of the day. Now that many of us are vaccinated and are able to gather, I hope that you are able to spend the day with those loved ones that have provided you with support as you've gone through this degree. Relax, take a day off. Trust me, you've earned it. Now, this is not goodbye. 
It's called a commencement because it is the commencement of the relationship that you have with us going forward as an alum of the Mirage School of Business. Certainly, we want you to stay connected. We want to celebrate your accomplishments going forward, but also be a support for you as you take on new challenges in your career. So on behalf of the faculty and the staff of the Paul Mirage School of Business, congratulations again on this amazing achievement. Zot, zot, zot. Thank you.